Hey everybody, it's your girl Bree. What the business is? Listen, I come to talk to somebody right now. I come to encourage somebody. You are stronger than what you think. You're staying in a situation that you know is over, a situation that you know is done. You feel like that you don't have the strength to leave. You feel like you don't have the finances to leave. You feel like you don't have anything. Listen, if you take that first leap, God going to do the rest. Put your trust in God. Do not put your trust in man because man is going to fail you all the time. Tell your problems to God. Do not get on the phone and tell your homeboy, your homegirl, your auntie, your uncle, your sisters, your brother, what you're going through. Talk to God about all your problems because he will lead and guide you where he needs you to be. He will send the people into your life. Listen, how you know that God sent somebody into your life for you? That person will tell you something that you have told God and that you have prayed to God about. That person will come with a confirmation on something that you have asked God about. Don't stay stuck in a situation because you don't have the funds. Don't stay bound to somebody that you know that you really don't want to be at. Stop delaying your own progress. Stop delaying your own healing. Stop delaying your own blessing. Us as people have to realize that we are our own worst enemies. Sometimes we overthink things. Sometimes we overanalyze things. And sometimes... We worry about too much of things when we give stuff to God. If you give your problems to God, leave it to God and just leave it there. Don't even worry about it. Just know that he is taking care of that problem. But you have to be strong. You have to be strong and be willing to get up and take a stand and take the first step. A lot of, a lot of you are waiting for God to change your circumstances and your situations, your money situations, but you're not trying to do anything about it. Faith without works is dead. You have to step. You have to move. If you take the first move, God is going to take the second and third step on your behalf. But he just needs you to take that first step. He just needs you to have a little faith like in a mustard seed. No matter what it is that you're going through. A lot of y'all parents are sick. A lot of y'all have sickness in y'all body. Y'all praying for healing. Listen, God is able. He is able to do it. He is able to heal you. I'm telling you. He is a healer. You heard me? He is able to heal you. God is going to do just what he told you that he's going to do. But you have to take that first step. You got to get out your own way. You got to get out your own mind. You got to stop being stuck and stop hanging around people that God has told you to move yourself from around those people. God has told you to do something and you being disobedient and not doing. How do you expect somebody to bless you if you're not willing to do what they're telling you to do? He's trying to help you, trying to save you, but it's like you don't want to be saved, but you steady calling on him, asking him to lead and guide you. And what he's showing you to do, you're refusing it to do. You're refusing to do it. How that works? It's not going to work like that. You got to get up and move. If he tell you to move, move. If, he, if God tell you right now to pack up all your stuff and go to somebody's house, you got to trust and believe in God that that person is going to let you in that that person is going to do what God has told you to do because if God sent you somewhere that means he already he already to let that person know that you're coming y'all got to stop being stuck y'all got to stop being stuck it, it, you know what y'all got to stop being stuck and y'all got to stop overthinking y'all got to stop worrying about other people's opinions on how you're going to look to somebody else You'll never get nowhere in life if you're worried about how somebody else see you, what somebody else think about you, or how somebody else feel about you. You won't get nowhere in life. Because you know why? I don't care what you do. You could do all the good in the world. Mess up one time. That's all they're going to talk about is that bad thing. That's all they're going to talk about is that bad thing. When you're going to be dead and gone, they're still going to be talking about that bad thing you did. Out of all the good you did, they're still going to remember that bad so stop trying to please people because God has not put us here to please people. He put us here to be a helpmate to one another. He put us here to encourage one another, to uplift one another, to inspire one another. And guess what? If you're around people who is steady telling you down, I need you to think about something. That I want you to go back to the five people that text you in your phone today. What's those people is uh, inspiring you to do better? What's those people praying for you? What's those people uplifting you? Or what's those people adding burdens to your burdens? That's something you need to ask yourself. That's something you really need to ask yourself. Or is the people in your life, is they bringing, is they bringing peace in your life? Or is they bringing problems in your life? See, because some of us, we have people that still we still attached to that are bringing problems to our life. You see, a true friend 
is going to meet you right where you at. Right in the midst of your circumstances and situation, they're going to meet you right there. And they're going to uplift you. They're going to encourage you. They're going to tell you to hold your head. They're going to tell you, hey, this is the Lord. They're going to tell you this. They're going to try to do everything they possibly can to help you forget yourself unstuck. You see, but somebody who don't want you to go nowhere, somebody is happy that you're in a hindrance place, somebody is doing all that, that's what they're going to do. Oh man, you ain't this. Oh man, you ain't doing this. You ain't doing that. Oh man, you ain't got no money, man. You ain't got this. You ain't got that. Let me tell you something. You could take. You could. You can take. <laughs> prime example. Let me tell you something. You could take five people with a goal, with a with a vision, and all put their mind together and create something. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let nobody tell you what you cannot do or who you can't be and how you can't do these things because guess what? If God has given you a vision, he's going to bring that vision to for fun. You just have to take the first step. If God told you to create a, a, let's say this, if God told you to open a daycare, you take the first step and you start looking for your building. And even though if you find somewhere you really like and somebody occupied it, I'm going to need you to go to that building. I need you to touch that building. I'm going to need you to pray. You understand me? I'm going to need you to pray and claim what's yours. You see, a lot of times y'all don't have faith. You heard me? Y'all don't have faith in, in, in circumstances and situations. You praying on a relationship. You praying You praying on a car. You praying on whatever you, whatever you praying on. I need you every day. You heard me? Every day for a week. You go to that place and you lay hands on and you pray. Just you and God. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell nobody what you're praying about. Just you and God have that one-on-one -on -one talk. You see, because God is going to come through for you because you're obedience. Because you're taking that faith. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're stepping out of faith and you're claiming what you want. You're making your vision known to him. God said, make your request known unto me. You heard me? And you're making your request known unto him. God is me standing in need of God. This is my building right here. God, my building is uh, in the inside is purple. Lord God, my office is this color. My office colors is this. God, I got this in here. I got that in there. You know what I'm saying? Write your vision down. Y'all standing in need of a brand new home. You write that home down. How many bedrooms you want? How, what decorations you want inside of? Write your vision how it look. You can even draw a little four pan and map out how you're going to put stuff in your house. Stop being stuck and stagnating. Stop thinking that you, what you want, you're not going to get, baby. But I need you to apply a little bit more pressure. I need you to get yourself unstuck, okay? I need you to get yourself unstuck. Because that's what you're doing. You're sitting stuck. You're sitting still when you need to be pressing your way forward. Because guess what? You're going to get just what you asked for. You heard me? But you're delaying your own self. It's not nobody else delaying you. It's you delaying yourself. You see, because can't nobody else stop you, baby. You're covered from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You heard me? You're covered. Ain't no harm or danger going to come near your dwelling. So that means no danger, no harm coming towards you. Nothing you love. You understand? But you have to know that. You have to get out your comfort zone. You got to be able to press your way forward. You got to continue to press, continue to pray. No matter what it looks like, you got to continue to push, man. Listen, God wants you to get unstuck. He wants you to have a little bit of faith in him. You say you have faith in God. This is what you do. You pray. And after you get through for praying, you're feeling all good. Then somebody might call you or send you a text or something. Then you get yourself down. Or you might go listen to somebody speaking or something and you get yourself down. Everything is not for you, baby. Everything somebody's speaking is not for you. Pick and choose your battles. Pick and choose of who you're going to serve. You understand? Because just as well as the enemy, the, just as well as God hear your prayers, the enemy hear your prayers too. And the enemy likes to throw stumbling blocks in your way. But you have to know that God is just and he is faithful to do just what he said he was going to do. You got to learn to move. You got to allow yourself to be uh you got to allow yourself not to be stuck and stagnant in that in that place, in that spot, in that relationship, on that job. You understand what I'm saying? Step out on faith. I don't care if you have one or two customers. Man, I don't care if you got to leave that relationship with some drawers and a shirt. Step out on faith. God gonna make a way out of nowhere. Don't stay nowhere where you're not happy. Don't stay nowhere where you unappreciate where you're not appreciated at. Don't stay nowhere. You staying on this job because you got bills. Hell, we all got bills. We all got bills. But you gotta learn how to step on faith. You got bills due. God, God is able. He is able to do his deed of the abundant level, all you can ask or even imagine. And he, he he's faithful. He's faithful to his. 
just when you feel like all hope is gone, that's when he shows up and he shows out on your behalf. He shows up and shows out on your behalf and he moves in a mighty way. God loves you. He only wants what's best for you, but God wants you to see that you deserve better. You're feeling like you're not worthy because you did stuff. You made a mistake. Hell, we all made a mistake. Let him without sin cast the first stone. We all made a mistake, man. We all done played a fool. We all done done something we ain't had no business do, doing. But it's okay, baby. Pick yourself up. Get yourself up. Get, don't be stuck and stagnant in that place. Get up. Get yourself up. Turn yourself around. Shake the devil off. You heard me? Let the devil know he's underneath your feet. You're supposed to be walking on the devil daily. Not listening to his lies and his manipulation that he tell you. Because guess what? God said you're more than a conqueror. So if God told you you're more than a conqueror, why is you allowing the enemy to play tricks with your mind and tell you, oh, you, hey, you know you're not going to get that grant. You know you're not going to get approved for that loan. You know you're not going to get that house. You know you're not going to get that job. The devil is a liar. You ain't know. The devil is a liar. That's all he want to do. Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> That's all he want to do is trick you and try to manipulate you. To make you think that you're not going to get what God has told you you're going to get. Just what God has promised you, you're going to get it. But you got to step out on faith, bro. Stop being scared. Stop being scared of failure. You heard me? How could you succeed if you never fail? Stop being scared to bump your head. It's okay if you bump your head. As long as you ain't got to bust your head to the white meat. You understand what I'm saying? Stop being scared. Step out, bro. Listen. Go to one bank. They turn you down. They tell you no. Go to another one. Pray about it. Pray fast. Man, look, that's something. Listen, I fast a lot. That's something y'all need to start doing. It's fast. Fast, bro. Go you on, if some of y'all can't go on them long two weeks fast or them 40 days fast, that's fine. Fast, fast for three or four days. Fast, you heard me? Fast, just you and God. Make your request known to him and tell him all about it. Ain't nothing wrong with fasting. Ain't nothing wrong with talking to God. I know a lot of y'all family don't believe in God. And a lot of y'all are scared to stand up to y'all family. And tell y'all family that y'all different. Tell y'all family that y'all hear things. Tell y'all family that uh, God speaks to you. A lot of y'all scared to be y'all true self because y'all don't want to be judged. Hell, ain't nobody give a damn about none of that. You be who you want to be. You heard me? You got one life to live, live it to the fullest. Because if you keep living your life for other people, you ain't going to never get nowhere. You're going to always miss what God has for you. If you continue to live your life, if you continue to live your life for other folks, you're going to always, always, always miss what he has for you. You live your life for you. You do what's best for you and yours. If you have children, you always do what's best for you and your children. Do what's best for you and your household. Not nobody else because nobody else in your household. No, If something go on at your house, nobody else is going to help you in your household. So just always make sure that you and yours are straight and take care of. Always make sure that y'all cl- crowned with his glory. Always make sure that y'all covered. Man, get in there as a family. Pray together. If you don't have any children, if you're alone and you're going through something, get by yourself, pray, talk to God. Like you get on that phone and tell your business to your associate friends and your associate partners. Talk to God about it. Don't tell nobody. Nothing you have going on. It's just you and God. See, because people want to find out your business so they can know where they can attack you with. You understand what I'm saying? You're covered, but you don't got to give nobody the blueprint of your life. You don't got to give nobody about what you got going on. Just let God lead the people he wants in your life. God don't tell you when to speak. Pray and ask God to give you the uh, spirit of discerning so that you can know when to speak and when not to speak. Because that's why he gave you um, one mouth and two ears so y'all can listen sometimes. See, sometimes us as people, we don't want to listen. We don't want to listen, us as people. Oh, we don't want to listen. We don't want to listen to other people or what other people have to say. Because we feel like we can't learn from them. You can learn something from anybody. I learn stuff from my two-year-old every day. Yeah. Every day. So you can learn from anybody. I'm just telling y'all. Y'all got to get yourself up stu- unstuck. Y'all got to step out on faith. I need y'all to step out on faith. And do the things that God has called you to do. God has called you to do. He have given you an assignment, bro. A mission. And I want you to fulfill your mission, bro. I don't care who cut you off. Who want to get 
leave you alone. Who say they ain't fooling with you? Who want to do this? Who? I don't care about none of that, man. Be about God's business so he can be about your business. You heard me? Be about his business. Do what he told you to do. Step up, bro. Step up. Stand up. Grab you a backbone. Some of y'all ain't got no backbones. Some of y'all family dictate y'all life. They run over y'all. They tell y'all what to do and how y'all do it. Y'all some yes men and some yes women around here. Listen, it's a difference between being respectful and being a yes woman and a yes man. Ain't nobody, man, listen. If you in your if you over the age of 25 years old and your parents are still running your life and you and you're not special, something is going on, baby. Something is going on because you, you you first of all when you make 12 years old, you're accountable for your own sins. Second of all, if you over 25 and your parents are still running your life, we mean you need to have a talk, baby. You need to email me in my emails. Uh description box below and me and you gonna get on a zoom call and we're gonna talk face to face because guess what this doesn't make any sense because you need to be making your own decisions for your own life at 25 years old if you are clothed in your right mind okay you need to be making your own decision it's enough of this y'all need to grab some backbones keep your parents out your business out your relationships out of all these things and stand and be the man or the woman that god has called you to be you need to love yourself okay you need to love yourself stop doing things for your family stop taking penitentiary chances for your family stop doing things to make your family look happy to make your family happy stop being with people that your family feel like it's a suit for their family because if you learn how to read the bible says you leave your family and you create your own family you heard me that's what it says. So a lot of y'all stay stuck and stagnant and stuff because of how y'all family feel. But let me tell y'all something. How y'all family living y'all best life. How y'all family not miserable by 